For some beginner and mid-level developers, you may have heard the term Agile Software Development and not know exactly what it is. In this video, I want to go over what Agile Software Development is and dispel some common misconceptions about it. So Agile Software Development is a simple set of four values and 12 principles. The four values of Agile are actually juxtapositions of things we should value highly versus things we shouldn't value as much. These four values become the backbone of an Agile mindset. You should learn them, and I would even suggest memorizing them so that you can comfortably discuss how you want to work with others in an Agile way. The 12 principles, on the other hand, drill a little deeper into some of the various domains of software development, such as how you work with customers, the working environment, and technical excellence. These are a bit more difficult to memorize, so you don't necessarily need to do that, but they are tremendously important to maintaining an Agile mindset. So let's go ahead and take a moment to go over the four values and the 12 principles of Agile software development. The first value of Agile is individuals and interactions over processes and tools. This value of Agile flows from a law of business called Conway's Law, which states that organizations design their systems in a way that mirrors their communication structure. So following this law, it's important to have good communication between the individuals working on the software so that the various parts of the system also work well together. The second value of Agile software development is working software over comprehensive documentation. As software developers, it is sometimes easy to get bogged down in the minutia of building software. But what is key to remember is that the software is only as valuable as the user says it is. No person inside the organization can determine the value, not even the CEO. It is up to the user. And if the software isn't working, then it is, of course, no value to the user. But there's another important reason for delivering working software, and that is trust. You wouldn't keep your computer around if the screen constantly flickered or the S key only worked some of the time. That's the same with the users of your software. Now, the third value is customer collaboration over contract negotiation. Now, I've had my fair share of contracts, and usually something comes up which throws the deal into potential jeopardy. Now, you can avoid some of that by focusing on the partnership you're trying to build with the customer. Software should be about solving problems, not creating them. The only way to know that you're solving problems for the customer is to talk to them and to get their feedback about the product. This is why I personally prefer little contracts that only cover small portions of the work at a time. It will allow for adjustments by both parties as circumstances and requirements may change. The final value is responding to change over following a plan. Software, unlike hardware, is malleable and susceptible to changing requirements. Neither you nor the user truly know what the finished product should look like. Software development is an evolutionary process that takes time and several iterations. If you attempt to plan everything up front, you'll almost certainly be wrong. And of course, the last thing you want to do is deliver the wrong thing to the user based upon some bad assumptions that you made in the beginning. And of course, let's not fool ourselves. The user is usually wrong about what they want anyway. Lastly, the requirements may change over time based upon the user's circumstances. They could start off wanting one thing in the beginning, but in six months, of course, they require something else. So now that you know the four values of Agile software development, let's quickly list off the 12 principles. You'll notice that as I go through these, each principle will have its root in one or more of the four values. So the 12 principles are, number one, our highest priority is to satisfy the customer through early and continuous delivery of valuable software. Number two, welcome changing requirements, even late in development. Agile processes harness change for the customer's competitive advantage. Number three, deliver working software frequently from a couple of weeks to a couple of months with preference towards the shorter timescales. Number four, business people and developers must work together daily throughout the project. Number five, build projects around motivated individuals. 
give them the environment and the support they need, and trust them to get the job done. Number six, the most efficient and effective method of conveying information to and within a development team is face-to-face -face conversation. Number seven, working software is the primary measure of progress. Number eight, agile processes promote sustainable development. The sponsors, developers, and users should be able to maintain a constant pace indefinitely. Number nine, continuous attention to technical excellence and good design enhances agility. Number 10, simplicity, the art of maximizing the amount of work not done is essential. Number 11, the best architectures, requirements, and designs emerge from self-organizing teams. And finally, number 12, at regular intervals, the team reflects on how to become more effective, then tunes and adjusts its behavior accordingly. Now, you may have noticed as I listed off the values and principles of Agile that not a single one of them mentions a specific practice. There's no mention of velocity, story pointing, pair programming, or even a backlog of user stories. That's because unlike what some folks or even some literature may tell you, Agile is not a methodology. It's a philosophy. Now, you or your team may decide to adopt certain practices which come from methodologies such as Scrum, Kanban, Extreme Programming, or Lean. It's important to remember that Agile itself prescribes none of them for you. Whatever practices your team decides to adopt, just make sure it actually fits with the Agile mindset. And lastly, before we end this video, I want to share with you a sentiment conveyed to me during a phone call I had with Joshua Kuraviski one of the prominent figures in the Agile community. He said, Agile isn't about following some set of rules laid out by the manifesto. It's about being lowercase a Agile, meaning the ability to move quickly, but in a well-coordinated way. This quote sums up the Agile mentality in an elegant way. I hope it's as helpful to you as it is to me while you go through your journey as a software developer.